The foundation of medication administration is the application of the rights of medication administration. These rights should be applied to each encounter when vaccines are administered. For all vaccine administration, make sure you have the right patient, right vaccine and diluent, right age and interval, right dosage, right route, including the correct needle gauge, length and technique, right site and right documentation. Follow health and safety guidelines by washing your hands or using an alcohol-based hand rub. Gloves and protective eyewear aren't routinely recommended unless the person administering the vaccine is at risk of coming into contact with body fluids or has open lesions on their hands. For each injection, use a new, sterile, disposable syringe and needle. Before using any vaccine, check the fridge temperature to ensure the vaccine has been stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. If outside this range, do not use the vaccine and report this to Queensland Health's immunisation program. When preparing vaccines, each dose must be checked to see that the expiry date hasn't lapsed. Use aseptic technique to draw up vaccines. And change needles after drawing up from a vial. After drawing up, make sure there's no particulate matter or colour change in the vaccine. The recommended dose should always be drawn up and given regardless of the amount contained within the vial. When pre-filled syringes aren't supplied with needles, the needles should be attached just before administration. When preparing reconstituted vaccines, only diluent supplied with the vaccine should be used. Check that the diluent and vaccine are completely mixed before injecting. You should also check the product information for the maximum time before the reconstituted vaccine must be discarded, as they may deteriorate rapidly. The routes of administration are recommended by the manufacturers of each vaccine. Most are given intramuscularly in the central and thickest portion of the deltoid muscle. Above the level of the armpit, and approximately two to three finger breadths, below the acromion process. To avoid causing an injury, don't inject too high near the acromion process or too low. The anterolateral aspect of the thigh can be used as an alternative site for intramuscular injection in older children and adults. For all intramuscular injections, the needle should be long enough to reach the muscle mass and prevent the vaccine from seeping into subcutaneous tissue, but not so long as to involve underlying nerves, blood vessels or bone. Adults and older children should sit in a straight back chair, feet resting flat on the floor with forearms and hands in a relaxed position on the upper thighs. Ask them to keep the arms flexed at the elbow to encourage the deltoid muscle to relax. Encourage their shoulders to drop by asking the person to raise their shoulders up while taking a deep breath in and to drop them while breathing out fairly forcefully. Hold the needle like a dart and with a quick thrust, insert the needle at a 90 degree angle to the skin. Aspiration before injection of vaccines is not necessary. Multiple injections can be given in the same extremity, but should be separated by a minimum of 2.5 centimetres. When administering multiple vaccines to children, it's recommended to give the most painful vaccine last. Apply clean cotton wool with hypoallergenic tape to the injection site and dispose of the used needle in a clearly labelled puncture and spill-proof sharps container placed out of the reach of children. The location of each separate injection given should be recorded so that if a local adverse event occurs, the implicated vaccine can be identified.
subcutaneous injection administers the vaccine into the fatty layer above the muscle and below the skin. Pinch up on the subcutaneous tissue to prevent injection into muscle. Insert the needle at a 45 degree angle to the skin. It's not necessary to aspirate before administering the injection. Rotavirus vaccine is for oral administration only and should never be injected. It can be co-administered with other vaccines on the NIP schedule at two and four months of age. Once the tube is open, check the liquid is clear without any particles in it. If you notice anything abnormal, don't use the vaccine. Once open, give the vaccine straight away. To administer the vaccine, seat the child leaning slightly backwards. Squeeze the liquid gently into the side of the child's mouth towards the inside of their cheek. You may need to squeeze the tube a few times to get all of the vaccine out. It's okay if a drop remains in the tip of the tube. When administering vaccines, always follow the best practice guidelines and recommendations of the Online Australian Immunisation Handbook.